Good morning everyone. Today is Sunday, October 27th and um, I had a little break from taking my videos of um, eating the elephant. That's because I've been traveling and uh, most of the time been really busy with a course in Singapore, the Freedom Trade Center. And now I'm in Phuket. I'm here to get seeds for my organic garden in my eco village and I managed to get them yesterday in Phuket town. Uh, which is um, a distance away from where I am now, which is in Patong. So here I am in my hotel room in Patong. And today, as far as um, eating the elephant is concerned, I'd like to talk about water. Water is very important for us um, in terms of health. And um, you need to drink lots of water to be hydrated. Now, a lot of people put some kind of cream or whatever on their face to improve their skin. Well, there's nothing that you could put on the outside that would really help. You need to be rehydrated from the inside, or you need to be hydrated from the inside. So drink lots of water. And the guideline, or the rule of thumb, is to ensure that um, when you pass your urine, you pass water, that your urine is clear. That means you have enough water in you. Now, Sometimes you'll find that if you eat particular things like beetroot, your urine would go uh, reddish in color. And uh, no amount of water that you take would go to turn that clear. You don't actually turn it in two or three days, depending on how much beetroot you've taken. Um, also, if you take things like coffee or patai, also known in English as stinky beans, um, that would cause your urine to stink and to discolor. So at those times it's important for you to drink more water. Now one of the things that one of my friends had been taking was those effervescent um, vitamin C tablets uh, which have calcium in them because they, they work better if they have both calcium and vitamin C. And he's been taking it for 20 years non-stop a tablet a day uh, dissolved in, in a glass of water. And he had kidney stones. And I thought that was rather sad for it to happen that way because um, he said, you know, he had to go and have these ultrasounds to crush the stones and then they pass the stones out. So it's, it's like one of the most painful things. So, really, I wouldn't um, encourage you to do that, at least not take it every day. Um, or if you do, make sure you drink lots of water. So, that's the kind of thing you can avoid if you drink lots of water. Now, the other thing is, if you're on medication, and this medication has side effects, one of the things I do to mitigate the side effects of the medication is actually to drink about two liters of water first thing you wake up in the morning. And throughout the day, to drink normally. All right? So don't drink lots of water throughout the day, as much as possible throughout the day. If you did that, you would actually defeat the purpose of the medication, you dilute it, and its effect on you, its therapeutic um, dose would be reduced, and uh, it wouldn't be optimal. Now, the logic of taking two liters of water first thing in the morning um, is that while you're asleep, in the eight hours you've been asleep previously, both your kidneys and your liver work. So all the metabolites of your medication have been like accumulating in your body, um, in your kidney, and what are, in, in your bladder, and you need to pass them out and flush them out really. So taking two liters of water would actually flush them out. Now taking two liters of water at one go is a bit difficult. I admit that. So if you drink a mug of water that's about 330 milliliters, you take three of those, it will be roughly um, two lit uh, one liter, and if you take six of those, it will be roughly two liters. So how I started out doing that, when I needed to do that for lots of medications, was actually uh, to stay, start with two mugs, you can easily start with two mugs, and then the next day try to do mugs and four or five, and subsequently increase the amount of water you drink. And uh, you'll be going to the toilet very often, not just to pass water, but when you do your, your piggy, when you pass motion, it's actually much smoother, and uh, you feel less constipated, and it just comes out much more easily, a bit like yeast. So, 
Um, the other thing about water is, besides passing it out as urine, um, you sweat water out. Now, water is like the medium in which dissolved toxins are removed from your body. That's obvious enough in the urine. Uh, but also in your sweat. Uh, you know, if you've tasted your sweat, you know your sweat is salty. You know that if you get your sweat in your eyes, it's very painful. And that's because it's got a lot of dissolved salts in it. So, now, most people don't realize that the skin is the largest organ in the human body. The skin is also a major organ of elimination. One, once, one of its functions is actually um, for you to sweat all the toxins out of your body. And uh, like I said, sweat is water with dissolved toxins and it dissolves salty toxins, water soluble toxins. So the important thing when you're sweating is um, every day you need to sweat. You need to sweat at least 20 minutes a day, half an hour would be good. It doesn't matter what kind of exercise you do as long as you sweat and get rid of, get rid of these toxins out of your body. Now, one of the places you sweat is in your armpits. And a lot of ladies don't like sweaty armpits. I know my daughter doesn't. And it um, doesn't look nice when you wear clothes, especially white clothes and stuff. And so ladies tend to wear antiperspirants. Now antiperspirants are usually hydrogen oxide, small powder, tiny powders of um, hydrogen oxide, which actually work by blocking the pores of your sweat glands. So what happens then by not sweating through your armpits, um, all the toxins accumulate in the limb nodes around that area and uh, eventually uh, you get breast cancer. Now, I don't have the references at the moment, but it's well documented. Don't take my word for it. Go Google it. And you'll find that the literature is quite abundant on this subject. So, ladies, uh, it's better to have sweaty armpits than um, to have breast cancer or mastectomy. You know, mastectomy is quite devastating. Not just physically, but also to your psyche and personality. So, that's something to think about. Um, a lot of people have bored body odor, that's because they have sweat, um, that have nutrients in them that allow bacteria to grow, and these bacteria uh, eat the stuff or drink your stuff in your sweat, and they produce um, hydrogen sulfide or something that stinks, and, and you get body odor. So the really important thing, if you want to get rid of body odor, is to have frequent showers and use some antibacterial soap so that you don't have these colonies of um, hydrogen or sulfur producing, uh, sulfur compound producing bacteria living on the skin. Um, similar sulfur producing bacteria, we call them oral flora, exists in your mouth and that's what gives halitosis. So, I think I've covered quite a bit on the topic of water as far as, as making sure the urine is clear. This is in summary now. Um, and then a little technique how to mitigate side effects of medication by drinking lots of water once a day, only once, uh, first thing in the morning, and to drink regularly throughout the day. And also to sweat at least 20 minutes a day, half an hour would be really good. And doesn't matter what kind of exercise you do, um, one of the ways actually I do is to go sit in a far infrared sauna, uh, which is a bit like an Indian sweat lodge, a Native American Indian sweat lodge. And um, what else did I call it? Yeah, don't do stuff to prevent yourself from sweating because that would only allow whatever toxins that were meant to come out of your body to accumulate in your body. And it's well documented that these toxins will eventually cause um, breast cancer. Um, I think that's it on water for today. And um, I'm in Phuket, like I said, and I have lots of free time right now because I've done what I've needed to do. Uh, so before I fly back, I might do a few uh, videos uh, and upload them from here because the internet here seems to be quite fast. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.